All right, everybody, here we are with the Red Cat Everest 10 and the G-Made R1. Once again, hopefully this guy works. I, uh, I tested it before I left my house and it moves now, so that's cool. <laughs> Reverse is still funky, it has a delay, but hey, I gotta deal with it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to fix that with the Tekken system that's in it, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal, hopefully. Um, and the Red Cat, I went ahead and put the stock tires back on. It still has the wheel spacers, but the suspension was acting real funky last time when I had the weighted wheels on there. So I'm gonna try it back in almost stock form. Um, I did put LEDs in it and stuff, but hey, we're up here. I crawled up here. If you guys uh, watched the Traxxas Summit video, I tried this spot right here. Um, you guys have already seen me get up here before if you watched the previous videos of these two so i'm just going to try to make this with both of these probably unsuccessfully but hey you know it's worth a shot and this thing's got weighted tires now it's got the new tires on it and hopefully we can get past this spot at least <laughs> probably not as cool as this thing looks the design is uh like the functionality of it is pretty underwhelming it tends to roll over like constantly um yeah it's just i don't know if you watch jang's yeah there we go let's make it come on like i said uh in the summit video I have never seen or have never been able to actually make this. I did make it up to the turn up there, but uh, that hairpin turn where you have to turn and just go up the hill is quite, quite difficult. And that was with my Axle AX10 that was like totally souped up. Now we might actually make it past this part right now. Looks like we did. So now we're in it. Awesomeness. All right. So if we can get it situated over here, the scale is much, much better for uh, trying to go through this spot than the uh, summit. Now, if I can keep the front tires on the ground, I might actually be able to make this. I have literally never seen anybody make this. So if I make it, this will probably be the first time that that somebody actually made this. And I did. Oh my God, I just made that. Maybe. <laughs> well, all the stuff I talked about the R1, um, kind of eating my own words right now because I actually made that. Like I said, I don't know if somebody's made this. I've never seen it. I've been out here with the rock crawler guys I was here with like 10 different rigs trying to make that and nobody made it and I just made it look easy wow G made R1 um, yeah you've been kind of a thorn in my side up till now but I am super impressed with that wow um, okay so I'm gonna leave it right there and see if the Everest can follow <laughs> all right Everest running 2s and uh, we got the wheel spacers on there as well. And we'll see, those tires are not very good though. Um, yeah, those tires aren't very good. I don't know, I don't even know if I'll be able to make it in there with this thing with these stock tires. I didn't go ahead and bought, get myself a set of different tires but I might need to because the Everest isn't looking too good anymore. The suspension just flexes out. It's still doing that for some reason. I don't know. I probably need to add some uh, preload to it. But yeah, I don't even know if I can get in there with this thing. It's, tires don't grip very good at all. Maybe just walk it like that. Whoa, it made it. I was doubting you. Oh, I slipped off. 
Yeah. Okay. Almost made it, I should have said. See, I was counting my chickens before they hatched. Never do that. One thing about these is they don't have any side bite. Which makes it... Okay. Stay steered in. Don't slide. Oh. Am I going to have to go high? Probably. Okay. Okay. Try just going high on this side. Come on, Red Cat. I really want you to at least make it past this point so that we can give the R1 a decent run for its money. Don't slide off. Don't slide off. Oh, the rear's down in that hole. Oh, oh. Almost made it. Alright, attempt number I don't know what. Okay. Maybe if we just stay like that. There we go. Oh, come on, Red Cat. Everest. There we go. Oh, it made it. Almost. God, these tires are garbage. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just bump the rear over. I don't want to sit there all day trying to make that again. So, yeah, we cheated for the red cat a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, so now, can we make this? Is the question. The turning radius is definitely not nearly as good as the R1. If we make this with the Red Cat 2, I'm going to be like ecstatic. No way. No way. This is like basically stock. I'm telling you guys, like this this spot is ridiculously stupid. And both of those just made it. I know I cheated with the red cat a little bit, but I could have got back there. Wow. We literally tried. I don't know if more soot fell in there. That might be it from uh, rains and stuff. But yeah, that's, that's like one of the hardest spots I know of out here that is actually doable. All right, everybody. So we're back over at this spot um, where the summit couldn't climb back up, but it did climb down this. Uh, I'm gonna try it with the G made first. See, uh, see if it can even do it. Don't want to be stuck in that rut though, that's for sure. And uh, if the G made makes it, and even if it doesn't make it, I'm going to try it with the Red Cat Everest. So, as you can see, this is really steep, really steep. Uh, those tires and everything work so much better than the stocks. A little bit of weight in this thing, and man, look at it go. Alright. Calm down. Oh, settle, front, settle. I don't know, that little hump right there. Might have to go over to the left a little bit. Oh, it almost settled. Oh, there we go. I think we just made it. Let me reposition myself a little bit. Don't fall in that hole, I wasn't looking. Oh, yep, we made it. Man, this thing works now. Put a little bit shorter, better shocks on it. I'm having a hard time walking up this. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys, made that. Made it look easy. I don't know about this one. Probably a little steep. Yep. Oh well. That worked out. Red Cat's turn. Red Cat Everest. Now this thing is not weighted. Um, put the stock tires back on it that you can tell are not very good at all. And uh, 
Might have to try and figure something out for this guy to give it a little more competitive edge again. The suspension's not working all that well either. I had that problem last time I had it out here. For some reason the suspension just doesn't load, it just unloads, especially in the rear. Well, wasn't pretty, but it made it. <laughs> Come on, unload front, unload. Oh no, this part's steep. This part's really steep. Oh, red cat. Thank you. All right, Red Cat, that's enough. We'll go down here and see if you can maybe make this. Highly doubtful. Because I think it's gonna be hard for the G-Made. Well, it's definitely all G-Made today. Yeah, that's gonna be way too steep. <laughs> all right, come on, Red Cat. At least give it a valiant effort. No? Okay. One more try with you and then we'll let the G-Mate in there because this is way too steep for you. Yep. All right, there you go. All right, so we'll straddle the hole maybe? I don't know, it's pretty steep. Oh, come on. just a little too much. Yeah, oh, we almost had it. Have to goose it. Oh, not having that instant reverse. That's what it'll do to you. There we go. No way we made it. Man, this thing is a beast now. Put some decent tires on it, some decent shocks. And look at it go. This has totally changed my thoughts of this thing. And look at that, it does somersaults down hills now too. That's awesome. Alright. Now what guys? We're gonna go down here, play around a little bit and call her a day. Gotta go get my stuff. There we go. Yeah. This thing is set up nicely now. Oh yeah. Look at all this gnarly stuff over here, guys. This is like scale crawler paradise. All right, go red cat first. And we'll try and follow pretty much the same line with the R1 and uh, On this stuff, the Red Cat does does good. It's got way more suspension travel. And what we'll do, is we'll go down this little thing right here. God, the steering radius is so bad. And then come back this way. Ride this ledge a little bit. So we'll park the red cat right there and get the G made behind him. I'm gonna make it look better. A little bit. Through here. Out over there. 
and then we'll come back around. Need to get like cones or no. Oh, G made. How dare you? Take two. <laughs> Gotta be careful because the front's so heavy in this thing. Helps for climbing, but descending is not this thing's strongest point now. Delayed reverse, no fun either. I can't believe the Red Cat made that uh, that first ravine being basically stock like it is. And on this stuff, it I don't know, there's something about the Red Cat. It actually does better than the G-Made. Now the plan is to come through right here and try and ride this ledge. And then I'll probably go up because I don't want to roll down in there. And I'm going to stand down over here and try not to kill myself. <laughs> Alright, Red Cat. Let's see what you can do. Alrighty. Well, that didn't work out very well. But it ended up making it. I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> I thought I was pretty duped right there. All right, so now, I don't know. This is pretty sketch right here. I'll probably not try this, but whatever. Yeah, there it goes. Thank you, God. It was going in the river in there yeah I probably shouldn't try this and <laughs> just keep going okay so instead of trying to go down that I'm going to just go back up to my bag that way I don't lose a uh, a crawler to the uh, river <laughs> There we go. Good job, Red Cat. Thank you for not falling to oblivion. Really? Come on. Come on. You're right there. Goal! We're there. Alright, G made your turn. And if you even think about falling in the river, I'll, I won't save you. So don't. Because you're much, much more expensive than the red cat. Really? Ah, oh, come on. Well, you give some and you take some. It took away a little, little bit of the travel to kind of make it a little more stable. And it is definitely more stable, but stable with less traction. So. You're gonna do exactly what the red cat did. Yeah, pretty much. Well, thank you for that. Wow, I can't believe it crawled up that. Okay. It's not going the river. Thank you, thank you. And make this look easy. Awesomeness. Well everybody, the uh, the R1 definitely, definitely surprised me today. Uh, Red Cat, I, it's not even barely modified, so I can understand why it didn't do all that good compared to the R1 today. But hey, if you guys like this video, please give it the old thumbs up. If not, give it the thumbs down. Stay tuned to Killer Off-Road Hobbies. Subscribe if you're new here. And hey, check out that description. There's a bunch of stuff down there, everybody. All right, until the next video, we'll see you then. Peace.